Hey guys, welcome back to another Friday ver what, what do you even call this? You came up with a good name and I can't even remember. Fight me Friday! Fight me Friday on a Thursday. Well, they don't have to know what day we're recording ah, on. Ah. Just... Okay, so today we have Fuji or Fu Fuji. Fuji. We'll call it Fuji. Um, on this flip side, search your deck for a dragon with a total cost four or less and put into the field. Then shuffle your deck. So that's basically the whole gimmick is to flip a dragon and hopefully stuff happens. And let's, yeah, okay. Boom, six. Boom, two. two. Okay, I'm first. I'm second. Setting the obvious. No Boston's forever. Oh, oh, okay. That's an interesting first hand. I'm gonna molly three there, bud. Ooh, really? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Um, setting up any tomorrow dinner. So, so you're not ready. <laughs> yeah, give me two seconds. I'm gonna try and say I'm ready. Your turn. Okay. I'm gonna tap for stone. Boom, it's the panda stone, which gives me a light gem. So we're trying out, you guys might have seen the other video, and I might have seen, most likely I've seen. We're trying out Brunhild again. We're gonna try to get into a different deck in order to see if it's where it needs work, where it's lacking. So Angel of Hope. Hope. Well, you finally got that on for turn one. Yeah. About time, okay. Angel of Hope. Um, if past turn and everything, you're done? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Go for turn. Ooh, that changes things. This does change. That's flying. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna remove, tap for a stone, remove my energy, go with City of Mirage. When a generator is in your control is targeted by a spell, chant, or ability your opponent controls, you may banish this card if you do cast left, chant, spell, or ability. Cool. Pass turn. Draw a card. So, I don't know if you got my message or not, but in that last so-called second match, I kind of cheated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch the the video again. So I, I, I was watching it back. So what I was doing uh, before, before even before editing, I was watching it back. Like I usually you just kind of get ideas for stuff mm -hmm. for thumbnails, and then I'm looking through. I'm like, did I just, did I, did I just? And then I'm like, watch it back again. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I totally did. What did you do? Exactly? So I tap my ruler, tap for a stone at the beginning of the turn, do all this stuff, and then in the process of like taking a minute to do my turn. I forgot that I tapped first tone and flipped my ruler. Mm. So what I need to do is like tap my ruler this way or something so I don't make the same mistake. Or, crazy thought, you do things in the proper order. I did so things in the pro I did things in the proper order. That was the, the weird part, because I did draw a card, tap for a stone, all that stuff, right? Untapped everything. Well, untapped everything, then tap for a stone, right? And then I'm like, I was deciding what to do for like 30 seconds. And it's like, mm. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna tap uh, one stone to yep. do Voyage of the Floating Isle, which lets me search my deck for a Resonator of the Flying and put it into my hand. Okay. I'm gonna grab an Angel of Hope, and I'm gonna tap my other stone to play it. Then I'm gonna swing at you for two flying. I'll take a 38. Awesome, and I get two 1 1 counters. Boop. And boop, and I gain two. Puts me at 42. Here you go. Okay, on tap. On tap. That's a useless card. Do this. That means tap for a stone. Interesting. I think this is Nova's like maybe first or second time playing this deck, so. No, I've played it before. The only issue is it's a little bit tricky against your deck. Yeah. Because my stuff is 
powerful but weak at the same time. Because it's like fire deck it has good attacks and then but at the same time it's pretty weak. So I wanna make sure I'm doing things in the correct order here. That's that's the only issue. Which is this guy in right now? Four. They're both at four. And you're tapped on stones. Mm-hmm. Okay, which means I can try doing this and see if it works. Okay, two for Heaven, Thunder, and Shrike. This card deals 600 damage to target J Resonator. If a card was awakened, it deals 602 up to a second one, but I'm not awakening yet, so for a cost of two, I do 600 damage, and it really doesn't matter, they're both the same. Okay. Last turn. Cool. Draw a card for turn. Tap for stone. Magic sword of hope. Oh. Mm. What's up? Okay. Interesting. No, I'm just. Uh... I'm going to tap one and do whispers of an angel. Yep. Gain eight, so I'm up to fifty. Yep, and that gets counter. Burrito, and I get to draw a card. I'm going to fly at you for four. Take it. Okay, I'm up to 54. Four, so I'm down to 34. And I get up another one on one count. Your turn. Okay. What is. So you're at three counters. Yep, so it's th uh, six defense and... Seven. Seven, uh, sorry, six, is it six defense? Sorry. Six defense, So because it's a yeah. three, two, and then a five attack. Oh, okay. I thought you were reading it the other way, so I'm like, whoa. Okay. Six defense. Okay, well, on tap. Draw a card. Two stones open. I do have two stones open. Okay, so I'll go the other route then if you have two stones open. Okay. okay this is uh, worrying a little bit. Okay. I hope I'm doing this. I'm going to do this in the right order here. So for one stone, Poison Stinger. Okay. It's quick cast. This card deals 200 damage to target J Resonators. If that Resonator will be dealt damage this turn is dealt double that damage instead. So you take 200 damage, so you're down to four. Yeah, that's cool. And then for a cost of zero, I do a Sandstorm, which deals 200 damage to your entire field, only to Resonators. Okay. So you take another 400 damage. Okay. So it deals double damage. Um, in response to that happening, I'm going to quick cast Flourishing Hope. Yeah. Target J slash Resonator gains. This card cannot be destroyed until the end of turn. And then this gets removed. So I'm gonna put it next to my grave and invert it, but I'll invert it when I use it. Okay. Okay, so then I get to grave it as a short one, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then for a cost of one, I'm going to Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, but it wouldn't matter. But it wouldn't be matter destroyed. because you can't be destroyed, so then I won't. That, that I mean, he's got swiftness, you can hit me for three at least. Yeah, but he can body into him. Hmm? Well, yeah, I could. But that's the risk you take with playing swiftness. Yeah, I agree. Before the end of your turn, I'm gonna tap this. Yep. For one white and play Dispel. Uh, and I'm going to choose to gain 1,000 life. This okay. goes up to four. Yep. And I'm up at 64. Interesting. Cool. Draw a card. Tap for 
of stone. Another ore, I'm up to two. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna tap two and play Ayu, yep. the Mysterious Wanderer. When she has the field, I gain life equal to the number of runes I have revealed, which at this case is two. So I'm up to six to six. This goes up to five. Six to six again. Dang. Yep, Marinos. She's getting big. And I am going to fly at you for seven. Okay, I'll have to take it, so I'm down to 27. Okay. That brings me up to 73. Ooh. And she's at six counters. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Okay. One tap, tap. And you have stones open again. I do. You're, you're finally learning to keep the stones open. Well, I mean, I've actually been able to keep an angel on the field for a few turns. That was a lot harder with Lucifer. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Ow. She's at nine right now, right? Defense, yes. Nine. Okay, nine defense. No, this does not work. Okay, I'm gonna swing with this guy into that. Do you have a response? Uh, oh, yes. This card would deal damage to Wizard. It deals double that damage. Yes, I'm actually gonna tap one and play Miscalculation. Destroy okay. target attacking Resonator. Okay, I get rid of this. Okay, then I will do Flourishing Hope onto my Angel. She can't be destroyed until the end of turn. That gets removed. This gets removed? No, no, that, oh, that card oh, gets that removed. Get, that gets, card gets removed, okay. And I'm gonna tap four mm -hmm. and play Mudge and Madness, which is give him 800, so he becomes 1100, mm -hmm. with Pierce, because I awaken the card. Okay. And I swing for 1100 into that. You can't die this turn, correct? No. But, but I do... Um, 200 tw damage? 2200 damage. So that's 900. So the there's the splash damage gets goes through to you. Okay, so I defend nine of that 22. Yeah, which means that 11 would go through. Yeah, but I would gain seven. So you're hitting me for four. 69. Um, and she goes up another counter. Okay, pressure. Uh, sure. No, that was actually a really sick combo. I like that. Okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Tap for stone. What other hijinks do I have here? Okay, I'm gonna tap one. Yeah. And we're gonna play Blessings of the Sun. Uh, it's one cheaper because yeah. I'm playing it from the rune. Uh, J slash resonators you control gain plus two plus two uh, and at the next end of turn recover the card until the end of turn. Yep. So uh, this is just a temporary plus two. Oh, sorry. Let's put two. Yeah. Um I guess I'll swing at you for two, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Twenty sixteen. 16, down 16. 11, she gets a counter. I don't even want to do this anymore. <laughs> I think I'm up to 80 now. Oh my god. Uh, 10. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to hit you for 8. I have no response. I'm tapped out. Yep. So I'm down to 8. I'll tap one to resuscitating will her. There you went. Is that enough? Eight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's enough. Cool, that's round one. That's That, that was a quick round one. Where's your dragons, dude? 
You don't have dragons in that deck? I do. I didn't think I needed them yet. I thought I could hold off for a little bit longer. Oh, did you get them in your opening hand and then you mulligan them? No, I got them like turn two or three. And I didn't play them right away because I'm like, I might be able to kill that. But yeah, you, you, you kept enough runes open, not runes, enough um, stones open in order to be able to keep her alive. So okay, that plan go, failed. Your plan failed. Uh, that plan failed. Yeah, okay, that, I'll go second. That happens sometimes. Second. Okay, so I'm first again. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I am hardcore changing my opinion on Ayu. She's good. Okay, good. <laughs> I actually didn't get to do the jankiness that we did versus Lucifer. Yeah, which is just keeps just like casting her like twice a turn every turn. Yeah. But I also didn't have the uh, the Angels of Hope to really get the benefit of that thing happening over and over again. What I'm thinking of doing is for my son's like angel deck mm -hmm. is I was thinking of working on the Angel of Hope. I use. Keeping the three, um, what's the big of fields? Mm -hmm. The three of fields, right? And then, oh, probably splooshing all over the place. So, yeah. Also, feel like I'm playing something wrong here because I know I can, should be able to search something out, and I haven't. Well, I mean, his flip side is to search out a dragon, or is it just put one from your hand? But it's five cost. So. We only made it to four. Buff. I only made it to four. Well, <laughs> that's just bad luck. <laughs> uh, total cost four or less, yeah. Okay, so Flame Storage Information. This costs one plus X. Choose X. Target X. Okay, choose one. Target X, Jabbers. Jabbers just cannot attack or block within the turn. Or search your deck for a fire resident with total cost X or less and put it into the field. Okay, where am I reading this wrong? Oh, X is the. Does X the cost of fire I'm willing to pay? Okay, Flame Soldier Formation. Only if you can control Fuji, quick cast, choose one. Uh, target X J slash Resonator is going to attack or block until the end of turn or search your deck for a fire resonator of total cost X or less and put into the field, shuffle your deck. What's, what's the problem? How does the X work? Sorry, that missed that. So red is the casting cost. Yep. And then X is whatever you want to put into it. So if you want to okay. grab a one drop, you pay one into it. Two drop, it's a two, two X. Oh, I X. pay a, res uh, a resonator? No, no, you pay into the X whatever resonator you want to grab from your deck or whatever okay. resonators you don't want to attack. So I pay stones? Yes. <laughs> yes. X is No, no, you said pay number. into it. Okay, that's what I was trying to... Misunderstanding. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to mulligan four. second though. This really didn't do me any good. But... Oh, and I also have an uh, Energize, I forgot about that. Yep. You know what, Alan and Mulligan one. Yeah, go ahead. Cool. I'm gonna tap for a stone. Hope stone! And I'm gonna pass turn. Go ahead. That was... Okay. Draw a card. <laughs> yeah, this deck is not shuffled. The I mean, you self shuffled the heck yeah, of it, no? Yeah, but the only thing I can do is place Scolding Brick for 200 and remove this, deal 700 damage to you. Okay. <laughs> Past turn. I'm down to 33. Draw a card for turn. Tap for stone, basic light stone. I'm gonna tap one, yep. and I'm going to Angel of Hope. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Here's the issue, you're making me like, do too much stuff. So. <laughs> what? Okay. We'll try this and see if it works. For cost of one, Poison Stinger, 200 damage, and if damage is dealt to her this turn, it deals double damage. The only question is, does this card trigger double damage or no, it doesn't? 
No, no, no. So it does two hundred. The damage damage, damage first, and then yeah. Okay, and then for a zero cost, play that on top. Deal four hundred damage. Okay. So I'm assuming you have a thing to knock. I I do. Yeah. Can't be destroyed. Okay. Flourishing hope. My go. Um. Yeah, that's your your go. Draw a card. Tap for stone. Or from the treasure mountain, I get a light gem. Um, I'm going to tap one and play Whispers of the Angel. You gain health. Yep, gain eight. So I'm up to 41. Oh, nope, nope, not 80. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. We'll get there. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> uh, 41 and draw a card. And then. I'm going to swing for three at you. Yep. Yep, three. So 37. That gets a mystery, or a mystery counter. That gets a counter. Yep. Uh, and I gain three life, so I'm at 44. Here you go. Okay, draw for a turn. On tap, on tap, on tap. Okay, screw it. I'm not making the same mistake this time. <laughs> Ooh. Pass turn. Okay, um, I guess before you pass turn, I'm gonna tap one. Oh yeah, 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 there it comes. Dispel, wait, chill out. No. What's wrong? Okay. It's all good, dude. Oh. Gain a thousand life, this goes up to three. I'm up to 54. Okay. Draw a card for turn. Tap for stone. Hmm. That's an interesting conundrum we got here. What do I want to do? do? Okay, I'm going to swing at you for five flying. You're gonna remove it. Right? I, know gonna I don't have any removal in this deck, dude. Chill. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to tap one. Yeah. And I'm going to give it a turtle. Okay. So I still do damage to you. You still gain health. Yeah. Yep. So I gain five. I'm, down. I'm up to 59. And she got the counter. And it's your go. stuff to keep her alive, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Tapping four? Yeah. You're crazy. What does that do? Um, nothing at the moment. It's a 12-12 for four cost. It mm -hmm. has flying, it's a dragon. If I bring it from my field, if I summon it from my, uh, sorry, from my deck, it deals a thousand damage to target Jerry, which I'm yeah. not doing. To swing for a thousand. Okay. You probably have a miscalculation somewhere. I actually don't. You're really lucky. <laughs> but I am gonna do this. I'm gonna tap one, and I'm gonna do protection of the angels onto her. Yeah. So she's getting a plus eight right now. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. There's an eight somewhere. Okay. She's getting plus eight and barrier. This can't be chased. Yeah. And I'm gonna tap two, and I'm gonna do spear of the Valkyries. Okay. To do eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 on your dragon. Okay. Good. Uh, and I gain 14 life. And this goes up to 5. <laughs> okay. So. Pass, sure. 14 is. Why do you gain health? Because of Spear of the Heart. Oh, god. Derp. Yeah, never 14, mind. 14, so it'd be 73. That one, that escalated quickly. Just a bit. <laughs> Am I go? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that escalated very quickly. 
See, this is the problem with um, with red decks. Like it's the same problem uh, teacher teacher had against the sneaky snake. He couldn't get across the sneaky snake, like the one resonator. Mm. Couldn't do enough damage to it. Especially if you have spells to keep it alive. Oh, got an ore stone. I get another one of those. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'll tap three to summon Jan Jan, yep. the Holy Prince. Uh, when he enters the field, it can reveal any number of pandas. I don't have any in my hand. Yep. Gain 200 life for each. Whenever you gain life, you may banish a light gem. If you do, this card deals damage to target resonator equal to the amount of life you just gained. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna fly at you for seven. Okay. I'm gonna tap one. Miscalculation? No. Tap, well, no, it's only oh, okay. attacking. So, Flourishing Hope says that she doesn't die. Yep. I will do... It does seven damage to you, so she Eight. Gets, you had five counters on there. Yeah, and two. Oh, sorry. Three yeah, is seven. defense. So, I do seven damage to that guy. Yeah. I get a counter. Okay. Gain seven life. I'm up to 80. Okay. Then, I'm going to remove a counter... Or, uh, a gem. Yeah. To do another seven damage to that. How? Because I gain life. So when you gain life, oh, because whenever of this you gain guy. life, you may banish a light gem. If you do, this card deals damage to target resonator equal to the amount of life you gain. So it took seven damage from fighting, and then it takes another it's seven dead. damage from life it's gain. It's dead. Pass turn. <laughs> you like have me on the ropes here because I just. Okay. Yeah, you just... Dealt damage, destroy it, so it's useless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whenever a general or rune you control is dealt damage to your opponent, put this card from your graveyard into your hand. Okay. So. It's not a bad. Like, it's not. 10 10, 3 drop. It's not, but he is a dragon, and for a cost of one, I'm gonna do Dragon's Flight. Choose one, search your deck for a dragon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck, or target dragon you control deals damage equal to its attack to target uh, resonator your opponent controls. So then choose this one. So it might just be enough if you don't have anything. But you probably uh, have stuff. But I do. Yeah. <laughs> Flourishing up. <laughs> <laughs> so it just doesn't die. No. Okay. I still have one stone open. If you have something that can, like, kill it. Like, if it's just a straight kill spell, and you can do it in response to this flourishing hope, you can kill it. Yeah, I wish. Or it doesn't have a lot of just kill. They used to, back when they used to have this one drop card called Demon Flame. It's like, any time that a resonator takes damage, just destroy that resonator. That card... This is good until the end of the turn, right? Which, the Flourish and Hope? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, pass turn. Let me know when I have priority. <laughs> okay. Okay, draw a card. The, the reason I'm asking is, does Swiftness work on my turn? Oh, uh, if you can quick cast it, yeah. Oh, uh, no, because you can't attack on your turn. You can't attack on your turn. <laughs> that doesn't well, even make any sense. No, 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 you know what I mean, like... During your turn, if I quick cast something and that has swiftness, well, I can't, you can't attack. You can't stack, no. Okay. But I mean, you can quick cast something to block. Yeah. Uh, huh. Hmm, interesting. I'll... Tap two to play Ayu. Okay, you gonna help? 
Yep. Three. Three. So this goes up to seven here. Here's a seven. So a thousand defense, nine hundred attack, which is frustrating because you're getting to the point where you can't kill me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how strong is your dude? A thousand only. A thousand, huh? Okay, I will tap two mm -hmm. and play my last room. Uh, Blessings of the Sun. All of my stuff gets a base plus two. Mm -hmm. I won't even bother putting one on Ayu because she's not going to be able to attack this turn. Okay. I'm going to swap for 11? Here. Yeah. Does that guy have flank? No. But he's a thousand anyways. I have to, I have to block one. Okay, are you blocking her? Yeah. Okay. Dead. Uh, this goes up to eight. How much? You were at seven plus two, you were at 1200. Yeah, there's no way. Well, it's 12 now. Yeah. It was, so no, you, you were at seven. Seven plus three seven is 10 plus, plus two. 12, 12. Plus, yeah. yeah. There's no way. Okay. Uh, so now I'm at nine. Oh my god, am I almost at triple digits? It's <laughs> getting crazy. I can't even use this dice because it only has eight. <laughs> He used the big one and then he used a small one. So what are you at? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I actually don't even know. What was that at before? 83 or something? Okay, 83, so 11 to that. So I should be at 94 then. Okay. Just put a nine in that one, put a four. Dang. This is getting silly. Okay, 94. I will swing at you for 10. I'll have to take it, so I'm down 27. Okay. Oh, he's not. Wait, sorry, he's not flying, right? No. Okay, then... Okay, for two, quick cast, choose one, target your resident control attacks or block until the end of the turn. Oh, I should have done that beforehand. Too late now. Or search your deck for a fire resident or fuel cost of X, which is one, which is zero, so I'm looking for a one. I'm putting it onto a field. I should have. We should have made her not be able to attack. I should have put that, could cast that in. No, why don't you just do its first ability? I can't, because you've already declared the attack. So in therefore, retrospect, I mean. Yeah, in retrospect, yes, I should have done that first, but because, again, Nova didn't read the card properly. It happens. Okay, so you block. I'm dead. That dude dies. Um, and then at the end of turn, my stuff untaps. Yep. Your turn. Please go away. I don't even have anything big anymore. Oh, it's 300, 300, 2 fire resonators. 3, 4, Chrono Research. When a discard enters the field, remove the top card of your deck from the game. Okay, that's a fair point. And then, pass turn. Okay. Four oh, so other. my J ruler gains swiftness. If yeah. Whatever. He's not going to live, though. Yeah. Uh, and it's up to you. I'm going to quick cast Spear of Valkyries. I'm going to do 10 to it. It's dead. <laughs> it's not. Fire raising as you control gain. Okay, yeah, so I would gain that, and then I'll remove a light gem to do another 10 to it. <laughs> making me making me do extra stuff to kill your things. So this goes up to nine. <laughs> and I gain 10. So now I am actually at... Uh, 10,400 health. No, I'm at 104 health. Okay. Ready? Sure. <laughs> Draw a card. Hum. Tap for a stone, even though I don't really need it. Uh, I'm going to attack you for six. Yeah. Okay. 
31. Uh, I'm gonna tap two. Yeah. I'm gonna play Ayu. So I gain four. I'm at eight. 10,800. Oh, okay, here's eight. It's 108, not 10,008, dude. Okay, that's 12 attacking. 10,008. I'll tap three and play Mephistopheles. Yeah. Uh, J slash resonators, your opponent's control, enter the field rested. I'm gonna fly at you for 12. 19. Uh, I Here, am here's at... another dice. <laughs> I'm at 120. 19. This is this is zero. Just think this okay. is zero. Okay. I'm at 120. No, now. here, here. Here. Here's a 10. Now I need to use a 20-sided dice because this thing's gotten <laughs> too big. Uh, I'm gonna hit you for eight. Okay, so I'm down to eleven. Um Yeah, and I end turn. Go ahead. You're gonna oh you did turn already, my bad. Yeah. Can I like possibly do stuff now? Maybe. Okay. I mean, you could you could judgment. I could. But we'll, one, two, three, four, five. What does he do in the judgment side? So bring in a dragon, right? Four yes. or less. Don't forget, you can also sack your stones to give dragon swiftness, hey? Eh? Yeah. So leave one of these open. I will. You, these five. Grab a dragon, put it on the field, and then give it, give it swiftness. But he doesn't have swiftness, so it doesn't matter. Hmm? He doesn't have swiftness, and he still have two stones open. Well, no, he doesn't have swiftness, and he comes in tapped. But why does he come in tapped? Because of Mephistopheles. Oh! oh. Did you add that? Yeah. I thought you weren't going to use it. I yeah. change your mind. Well, I mean, there was just three cards in the deck that weren't doing anything. I, I was thinking of. So, what's the point of me giving my dragon swiftness if my stuff comes in tapped? Well, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm not trying to punk you or anything here. Also, why am I shuffling when I should be looking for a dragon? Just look for a dragon, dude. Hopefully, one that has like an enter the field ability. So, it's gotta be four or less. Okay. Four or less. He comes in tapped, but he, he does a thousand damage to that. Cool. You're still alive, right? Yes, but why not just kill something that doesn't have a... Why don't you just kill Mephistopheles? Or kill Bear Guy? I mean, Loki, you're gonna lose. It's gonna happen either way. But... <laughs> Let's find... Fair enough. Let's kill... Um, what's the biggest one? This one. Okay. And then... One left. Is that the first resonator that went in there? Which one? Into the graveyard. I think that's the first resonator. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I only had four cards in my grave and they were all shit that gave me life. Okay. Uh, and keep me alive. I'm gonna throw in a venomous scorpion for one. But he oh, no, he doesn't come tapped. Why not? Because he killed my please. Oh! Yeah, sorry. There right. you go. There you go. There we go. Fine, I'm gonna swing into. Or are you? Why? What's the point? Your dude would die. So? But you would die too. No, you wouldn't? Yeah, I would, because it deals 600 damage. Mm, fair enough. Okay. Pass turn. That's the only reason. Hey, doggo. Hey, doggo. Hey, doggo, 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 doggo. <laughs> I mean, I kind of feel bad. Swing? For 11? You win. For 13? You win. Yeah. Yeah. You win. <laughs> it's a good deck. I gotta remember to thank Zan for this. We'll have to do a deck profile for it. What do we do that? We'll check out the next video for possibly a deck profile. Maybe. With that in mind. Should we record another versus against Lucifer? I feel like yeah, because you've changed do you it. Think, do you think it could win? I don't I don't know. Two next next uh Fight Me Friday for Lucifer versus whatever it's called. Brunhild? How did you forget Brunhild's name? I was meaning more the angel. Of oh hope. yeah, the deck is so focused on angel. Of hope. It's not even a broken we'll deck. Call, we should just pull like an angel of hope over top of one health. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys. If you, I had a hundred and twenty health. You this know what? Deck is good. You know what? You gotta drop a like just for the health. Just for a hundred and hundred and twenty to eleven <laughs> to zero technically, but yeah. Next time. Bye bye. Hey, guess what? It wasn't an hour and a half video. What was it? 
Only 40 minutes. Hey, only 40 minutes is the best.